Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to our dear panelists, Sir Rangel Agulan, Sir Marvin Baque, and Ma'am Kendi Padis. In partial fulfillment for the requirement of inquiries, immersion in investigation, under the academic strand uh, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, we present to you our research proposal. So we are the group number four from STEM to me, and our research entitled is, uh, our research titled is Awareness of Senior High School Learners in Sexual Education mm -hmm. in Relation to Teenage Pregnancy. So before we formally start, let me introduce you myself and my co-researchers. I am Kirby F. Taranto together with John Herman Sarceda, Aya Borja, Benedict Diaz, <coughs> Joel Gonzalez, and Leanne Nemanjo. <coughs> Teenage pregnancy is a widespread occurrence with well-established causes and classified by, by, the United, by the United Nations Children's Fund as a global problem. The adolescent birth rate has declined globally, but at varying rates in various regions. Various region. And it doesn't mean that people should not be alarmed. According to the WHO report of the World Health Organization, there are about 16 million adolescent girls aged 13 to 19 give birth every year. It is roughly 11% of all births worldwide. Almost 95% of, the, of these births occurs in developing countries, including our country, the Philippines. The Philippines has recorded a total of 108,960 live births given by teenagers aged 10 to 19 in 2019. These numbers or those numbers speaks a lot. On the other hand, sexual education may be an impact in English pregnancy rates through a number of different mechanisms. According to OIT in 2013, mm -hmm. teenagers expected utility from engaging in sexual activity depends on their beliefs, knowledge, behaviors, and the, to, about the consequences of sex, just like or such as uh, teenage pregnancy or other outcomes. The researcher observed that the learners have relevant knowledge on teenage pregnancy but are lacking, or what we call the, they are in inadequate when it comes to the proper or awareness of sex education and vice versa. With the increasing cases of pregnancies among teenagers, students need to widen their knowledge about different information to prevent unwanted pregnancies. With the, with the above mentioned topic, the main objective of the researcher is to determine the awareness of senior high school learners to teenage pregnancy and sex education. The purpose of this study is to elicit the baseline information and knowledge of learners on teenage pregnancy and sex education and to give uh, a little bit background on their current uh, sexual knowledge and behaviors. In this study, to have, a to have a clear, concise, and specific statement that describes the issue of, or the main problem that our research want to address, here is Mr. Mejia. Okay, the following statement is um, described to um, the following statement describes the issues that presented in our study. So the first one, how does the profile of the learners be described in terms of <coughs> sex or gender, age, religion or, and affiliation, highest education of parents or guardian, socioeconomic status, and relationship status. The second one is, how does sex education awareness of learners be described? Then the third one, how does the awareness of learners in teenage pregnancy be described? Moving on to the fourth one, what is the relationship between sex education and teenage pregnancy awareness of learners? Then, the fifth one is, what is the relationship between teenage pregnancy awareness and profile of the learners? Then lastly, what intervention programs can be proposed to increase the awareness of the learners in sex education and teenage pregnancy? <coughs> To, be, to discuss relevant uh, literature and related studies and to provide each of us uh, an overview to the current knowledge of the topic, here is Mr. Cercella, Mr. Gonzalez and Ms. Moore. One of the related literature of, in, in our, of our study is that according to the Commission on Population and Development, the Philippines has recorded a 7% increase in births among girls aged 15 and below mm -hmm. in 2019. With regards to that, early pregnancy is one of the pressing issues Filipino youths are facing today. The country has one of the highest teenage pregnancy rates among the Asian member, okay. uh, Asian member states due to the constant increase in cases every year. In our related studies, the Journal of Not To Be That shows, shows that adolescent pregnancy in the Philippines in the Philippines evaluated as a pro 
proportion of women who, begat, who began getting pregnant <coughs> in their teen years has been increasing steadily over a 35 years ago. Moreover, according to the survey of a worldwide organization or the World Health Organization, it showed that teenage pregnancy and childbirth to women less than 20 years or below are a major global health concern to the world. As per mentioned by Kirby Caranto, um, the, this affects more than 16 million girls and young women worldwide. And, and in the Philippines, uh, teenage pregnancy and sex education is, hard, is, hardly, talk, is, is hardly talked about. Parang, uh, it shows that sex education is, is viewed as a sensitive topic. However, uh, however uh, according to Mr. Brown, teenage pregnancy are related to sex education in which it was proven by it was proven and supported by Mr. Powell that states that sex education uh, can help decrease the number of teenage pregnancy compared to as no sexual education at all. And kung itatanong naman po na kung ano mga yung contribution ng study naman nito sa existing related literature, hindi naman ba? Kaya lang kumama, itanong. So research is defined as the creation of new knowledge and or the use of existing knowledge in a new in a, or in a created way so as to generate new concepts, methodologies, and understanding. This would include synthesis and analysis of previous research to the next extent and it leads to a new and creative outcome. So parang yung research po namin is makakapag-provide siya ng ano, panibagong foundation of knowledge sa susunod ng mga studies na ikakanda or even sa mga nagkakanda ng mga study natin. So mag-move na po tayo sa significance of the study. So the significance of the study is mahalaga po ito sa senior high school <laughs> mahalaga po ito sa senior high school learners of Christian High School uh, to the parents, to teachers, to school administrator, administrators, and of course to the future researchers. For the research design, here is Ms. Lehan. For original design is used to identify the relationship between the awareness of senior high school learners in sex education and teenage pregnancy, and to describe the profile of the learners. In relation design, the, the researchers will find a significant relationship between two variables. To achieve the purpose of the study, quantitative method of research is used. Just like in our study, we are correlating or we are looking for the relationship between English pregnancy and sex education. That's why the correlational design we use is the, I, that's why the research design we use is the correlational design. For the sampling method, here is Mr. Sercella. Uh, the researcher used Slovin's formula and got the 100 senior high school learners at Missouri High School as the total number of respondents and then used a stratified sampling. A stratified sampling is a method of sampling from a population which can be partitioned into subpopulation. So we use a uh, stratified sampling because uh, we want a, to give the strengths of senior high school students equal participation that will be further discussed by Mr. Caranto. So, sa una po, ginamit po namin yung Slovens formula na may formula na n is equals to bigger n over 1 plus n e n squared. So, after po namin magamit yung Slovens formula, uh, nag-proceed na po ako sa stratified sampling. So, for example, sa ABM, meron po kami 214 uh, total population sa buong uh, strand na ito. Dinivide po namin siya sa total population ng senior high school, which is senior high schools, Senior high school, which is 1,249, multiplied by 100, and nakuha po namin ang 17 na total uh, the total participants na mukukunin namin sa strand na to, so on and so forth. That's why we, uh, nakakuha po kami ng uh, overall 100 total respondents. So for the summer of the findings, the profile of the senior high school learners is identified with the following. First, majority of the participants in the data gathering are female. Most of the participants are 17 years old. Catholic is the dominant religion of the participants. Majority of the high educational attainment of the participant are high school graduates. Local, lo, lower class is dominant socioeconomic status of the participant, and lastly, the relationship status of the participant are mostly single. Moving on to the conclusion. So, yung conclusion po namin is same lang po siya as the. Uh, so, so, joke na po po. May pangalan <laughs> Second. The awareness of senior high school learners in sexual education is identified along with the following. The senior high school learners are moderately aware that sex education is based on the mean value of 4.9. And the awareness of senior high school learners in teenage pregnancy is identified along 
With that, it shows that senior high school learners are knowledgeable in teenage pregnancy based on the mean value of 3.82. Then, there, are, there is a significant relationship between the awareness in sexual education and teenage pregnancy of the senior high school learners, as well as there is also a significant relationship between the profile of the learners in terms of socioeconomic status and teenage pregnancy that simply explain that the higher the socioeconomic class of the individual is the higher the teenage pregnancy awareness they have. And lastly, the intervention strategies are recommended by the researcher as classroom-based or school-based activities. Next, proceeding to the recommendation. And for, based on the findings of the pandemic, I recommended for the future action. Uh, the first one is that uh, we find that learners should learn and know the importance of sex education before engaging to any sexual or romantic affair. Next, parents should educate, protect, and divert the teenagers from indulging to early sex. Moving on, school-based seminars may recommend to teach the importance of sex education as well as the risk of getting involved to teenage pregnancy. Moving on. And school administrators should conduct seminars and training for students on teenage pregnancy so that the students will always be aware of its risks and consequences. The next one is that school administrators should conduct regular seminars about sex education. And lastly, to the future researchers, may, to the future researchers may do a follow-up study about the sex education and teenage pregnancy awareness of the learners. <coughs> with that, I, again, I am Kirby F. Karanda together with John Henry Sir Senda. <coughs> <laughs> and with that, we conclude our research proposal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is research proposal?